Hi, my name is Tracy Takahama Espinosa. I'm speaking to you from Quito, Ecuador, where I direct the Institute for Teaching and Learning and Online Education. And I'm very excited to be able to join you in London between June 24th and July 5th to go a bit deeper into this concept of the flipped classroom. What is the flipped classroom? Basically, it's uh, looking at a way to take the mundane concepts in a class, things that are important but that might take a lot of different repetition for different students or that students might learn different concepts at different paces and turn it on its head. Take those, those uh, concept that are, concepts that are more memoristic or processes, for example, formulas, things like that, and actually do them through a video context. Uh, why would we do this? Um, the main idea is to be able to free up face-to-face -face time. Um, students will do the prior learning it in, in their home. They might memorize certain concepts, definitions, formulas, or whatever. And when they get to class, you actually will have more chance, uh, more time to be able to differentiate in their needs. In fact, basically look at each individual and what they actually need to do. And it also frees up teachers to actually focus on mastery learning concepts as opposed to just um, covering the text or covering different pieces of information. It actually gives space for individualized student learning. So I'm very excited about this concept. I think it's one of the, the best ways that we have right now to actually differentiate mastery, focus on mastery learning, and actually elevate the level of thinking that's going on in a classroom. Uh, it's not super easy. It's not super hard. Um, I'm not a techno crazy person. I'm very much looking uh, towards actually elevating the way we we teach and learn. So I really look forward to um, to sharing time with you in June to actually do this uh, in particular classroom context to actually make this um, a more powerful encounter. I would like to ask you if it's possible to come uh, to the class with a problem or with a certain concept or with a certain process, um, something that you were challenged by in your classes this year, and let's try and flip it. Uh, for example, I teach neuropsychology, and one of these concepts that I find really core, but I find students have a hard time grasping with because it's very intangible, is uh, neuroplasticity. So what did I do? I took this concept and flipped it, um, did a short uh, video on it. I actually connected to videos that other people had done. I added supplementary readings in the class. But, um, and I try to give students many different ways that I, they could actually approach this core concept without which um, they couldn't move on in the classroom. So um, this is what I'd like to ask you to do. If you could come up with something that you found to be ch particularly challenging this semester, um, then we're going to use that and actually do some real um, hands-on work in the class to actually develop um, short video clips that can actually help you deliver those types of concepts in class in a way that would be beneficial to the students and also give you more time so that when you're in the class with those students, instead of reteaching that concept or those definitions, you can actually go into higher level thinking and debating, you know, the actual use of this and is neuroplasticity, uh, for example, equal to learning uh, or what's the difference or how is your brain changed in, in ways that are different when you use um, um, uh, either uh, drugs or therapy or, or something like that. So we can actually take things to a higher level of thinking within the classroom context instead of repeatedly going over um, base concepts, okay? So anyways, I look forward to seeing you in June. And um, please, if you have any questions beforehand, my information is on the slides. And I look forward to uh, working with you soon. Thanks.